welcome everybody today uh, for the press conference for Colorado Week, uh, Rocky Mountain Showdown. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm sure there'll be some questions about last week's uh, game uh, against Hawaii now that uh, we've watched it, but a lot uh, from what I said after the game. Uh, you know, some, some, some missed opportunities, uh, killing drives with some penalties uh, on, on offense, uh, special teams penalties, you know, put the offense in, in long field position uh, time after time again, and the inability to really slow down uh, Hawaii's offense uh, at all, uh, run our pass and really couldn't make them one-dimensional. Uh, hurt us in the ball game. Uh, didn't win the special teams battle. Lost the hidden yardage. You know, close to a hundred yards in hidden yardage, where you got a chance to to win the battle of the game. And in the, the day, didn't make enough plays. We addressed it uh, yesterday. Uh, disappointing. Had a team meeting. Uh, everybody was disappointed after the game, uh, and rightfully so. But. Uh, for one game, we lost that ball game, and we got a big, big, big week this week. Uh, it's the Rocky Mountain Showdown uh, against a huge rival, uh, against a Power Five opponent, a Pac-12 uh, opponent, and uh, it's something our guys are, are getting excited about. You know, we addressed the issues, we met on it, and then I thought last night we went out, came out, and had a good practice. It wasn't real high intensity with the game on Saturday night, uh, but it was good to get out there last night. And practice uh, and get ready to introduce. We introduce, you know, CU's offense and defense and special teams a little bit to our guys. Uh, you know, defensively, uh, Colorado, you know, defense, I really think, first of all, I think they've done a really good job recruiting. Uh, Coach McIntyre and his staff, uh, they've done a great job recruiting some skilled players. Uh, I feel like they've got some, uh, some size on both lines of scrimmage. Uh, I know uh, they've got a lot of experience coming back from this year, uh, and I'm sure they're pretty confident about where they are. Uh, defensively, uh, they've got experience in coming back at the linebacker position uh, more than any position. Uh, obviously lost some secondary people, uh, but got uh, some safeties. Uh, number six, who I think is a, a very good player, uh, number seven, uh, who's a converted corner that has range uh, in the back end. Number eight played against us last year, Eudofia. Uh, and then, you know, Derek a Abrams is, a, I believe he's a new kid, number one, a long corner uh, that I think will play a lot uh, from what I'm reading. But, uh, you know, they put pressure on you in the, in the box uh, by the girth that they have defensively. Uh, they like to play man-on-man -man outside. Uh, they like to let their overhang players get in the run fits and play man-to-man -man with their safeties. Uh, you know, so uh, it makes you kind of work the long uh, road offensively. They do a good job. They're very sound schematically, uh, defensively. Uh, coach does a great job. Uh, it's going to be a tough challenge uh, for, us, for us offensively. Uh, uh, their offense uh, obviously got a returning quarterback in Montez. Uh, who started every game, I believe, last year and then started some the year before. The thing that sticks out to me is his uh, ability to make plays with his legs uh, in ball games. He did it to us last year on a, on a broken contained play, scrambling to his left, and I believe he threw it all the way back to the right for a touchdown. But you see him do that time and time again, make plays with his legs, extend plays, and it can be to the right or the left. Uh, you know, offensive line, uh, I think it'll be a strength for them. Obviously, I've been reading some of that, but uh, they've got a lot of returning guys with returning experience. Uh, they feel good about their offensive line. Lost some receivers, uh, but they've recruited some speed uh, at receiver. Uh, and they got some guys that are coming back, and Winfrey is coming back. Uh, coach's son, Jay, who does a great job in the slot, is coming back as a dependable guy for them. Uh, but then you've got Shin Nault, uh, number two, uh, who I think is a good player. And then K.D. Nixon is a good player at receiver. So they've got speed at receiver. Uh, the local kid uh, that we recruited, Dimitri Stanley, I think is an excellent player uh, for them. I don't know where he is. Uh, you know, he's listed on their depth chart. But they've got size and speed at the receiver. Uh, I know they got a new offensive coordinator, our play caller in, in Cheverini. Uh, so that'll be a little bit different for us, uh, you know, defensively. You know, we got watched last year's game or the last couple years, uh, but you still got a new play caller, so that's always a little bit different. Uh, and then they got, you know, losing the running back, Lindsey, uh, who was their, you know, 
spark plug for them, but they got some capable guys in, in Evans and Fontenot, and I know they got the grad transfer uh, from Virginia Tech. Uh, special teams do a great job in special teams. Got a good punter, got a good kicker, great hang time on the punter. So going to be a big challenge. It's going to be a fight. Uh, I think everybody knows that that's uh, ever been a part of this game, uh, and that's our goal is to make it a fight and hopefully get it into the fourth quarter and have a chance to win this game. Coach, we saw Cole McDonald, uh, Hawaii's quarterback, have a lot of success with his legs. Like you said, Steven Montez uh, has that capability too. What are the biggest takeaways you saw from preventing him from doing that this week? Well, I mean, I think number one, defensively, the first thing you do uh, is a defense. You always go over corrections uh, because offensive coaches are copycats. Uh, you know, I've done it for years. Other coaches are going to do it if they see a play that's – going to work that's what they're going to try to do so defenses are always every every Monday practice or Sunday what it depends on when you're practicing you know you're working on corrections because things that hurt you other guys are going to try uh, so we've made some adjustments to try to slow those things down you know and those were some you know the thing about McDonald the kid from Hawaii some of them were design runs uh, quarterback counter and quarterback tackle trap uh, and then some of them were scrambles, and uh, they do both. Uh, I know Montez has done a lot. You know, he does – when he scrambles, he looks to throw, uh, and then they have run some design quarterback runs with him. How much are they going to do with Coach Cheverini? We'll, we'll see, but I, I, I imagine we'll see some of that because that's what hurt us last week. Coach, KJ threw that pick early last game, but he came back through – I mean, for a school record – in yardage, uh, what do you think? What do you think your confidence level in him is going forward after you kind of face a little bit of adversity, and now he's probably going to face a lot more against you. Yeah, I mean he's going to have adversity every week. It's a tough opponent. Uh, <clears throat> you know, this thing I told him the other day: you're going to have tighter coverage against these guys. Uh, it's going to be tighter windows. Uh, it's going to be we got to get the ball out quicker. Uh, there'll be a, 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 a faster pass rush, more than likely. Uh, but you know you got to trust what you see. You got to work on the little things of getting the ball out a little bit quicker. Uh, but I, you know, I think he gained some confidence in the game. Uh, it was good to come back, uh, you know, after the interception and and play, you know, pretty well. But at the end of the day, you know, it's some, you know, it's like Paul told me he set his school record. We were walking in here after the game. I said we lost, and I'm sure KJ feels the same, you know, the same way. Uh, we're gonna try, you know try to execute, and that's his job this week is, is try to execute. And I have confidence in him that he can execute what we decide the game plan is going to be going forward. Considering the circumstances of the way the game played out and what's moving forward, how do you kind of keep Chicken Little from kind of infiltrating your football program as you try to fix, you know, make corrections? And right. Forward? Well, I mean, I think Matt asked that question after the game, you know. Uh, you know, the sky's falling. you got three power fives, and everybody will say, oh, you could be – Oh, and this, or oh, and that, or to it, you know. But that's that's what we got to focus on. Having a good day yesterday, uh, and talking about addressing the issues uh, from the game, uh, correcting the things, putting ourselves in better position where we got a chance to be successful. Are our players in better position as coaches, uh, and then and then moving forward, and you know, not letting Hawaii beat us twice. This was my message to the team last night. We can't let Hawaii beat us twice. You know, we got to get ready for. Our, a town to see you team uh, who, yeah, we played a game, uh, you know, and there is improvement from game one to game two, but, uh, you know, we don't have any tape on them, you know, uh, and they've got, you know, they got a lot of, they've got a lot of guys listening at different places defensively than they played last year, you know, so I'm trying to, you know, figure out where they're going to put these backers and identification. So that's a little bit of a, a challenge uh, offensively. What are they going to be offensively? So, it's a little bit of a challenge, and they, you know, they've seen us. You know, they're going to give us some four wide looks like Hawaii did. They've seen us how we've lined up to four wides and kind of some of our adjustments to three by one and two by two uh, defensively. They've seen, you know, us offensively of, you know, they've seen what Preston Williams looks like and, you know, BC and where we played Warren Jackson. So, uh, you know, things are different from game to game. But uh, the big thing is, I kind of uh, went off topic there, but. Focusing on CU this week, uh, and you know we're going to talk about you know to our the guys today what this game means, what we're playing for, uh, how important it is to the state of uh, Colorado, how important it is to our our our, our Ram family, our Ram fans. Uh, you know our guy, we, we're going to be excited to play, but you know just hey, this is a big game. I mean that's going that's going to help too. Mike, obviously, and if you're a competitor, 
And you got a chance to play in this game. And then, you know, you know, next week you'll have a chance. I mean, you got a chance to play. And that's what it's about, competing. Obviously, uh, you know, you've talked about it. Just how disappointing has it been to have not beaten Colorado in the last couple of years? And what would that mean for this program to get this win? Well, last three. Uh, me. Uh, you know, it's disappointing. It's a big game. Uh, and you put a lot into this game. Uh, to prepare your team, uh, and it means a lot to our fan base uh, and our and our alumni. I mean, you know, I've, obviously before the you know I get that question a lot, but just you know the I mean, seventy thousand plus people at that game, so it's an important important football game that uh, you know is disappointing when you don't win, and it would you know obviously it would help with momentum. Uh, you know, after this, you know, win or lose <laughs> after this game, you know, what are we going we're going to be talking about next week? And playing a tough opponent next week, but the thing we're focusing on this week is is playing CU. And you never how how one win's going to change a season, and how that's going to. I mean, you, you don't know, Kelly. I mean, you can sometimes when seasons go well, you can point to this, and sometimes you win. I mean, I don't. You know, this is an important game for us uh, this week, and it would be great to get a victory. Is there more value playing that week zero game, being able to get get hopefully get some rust off? At the same time, CU hasn't played however they have tape on you. Where's, where's well, I felt by? I've actually felt, even though we haven't won, I felt we've played better uh, when we played a game before. Uh, I just to get the rust off, and uh, you know, there's you know, and you're going to see it this week when you watch games. There are going to be mistakes from people making you know penalties, a little bit of sloppy play in game one. So hopefully, we can eliminate some of the sloppy play that we had. You know, last week against Hawaii, uh, and then sometimes good teams make your team look sloppy. Uh, you know, uh, you know by you know being bigger and faster, and sometimes you're out of position, and you make sloppy penalties because you're out of position. Uh, you know, so it's kind of I do think uh, we got a chance to improve a lot playing that first game, uh, but you know we'll see when we play this week. You know, we got a short week too, though. I mean, that's a tough that's a tough deal, a tough draw having a short week. Uh, playing on a playing on a Friday as well, but it is what it is. We got a couple short weeks this this year uh, for conference games, so you know that's going to prepare us for this weekend down the road in the future. Uh, obviously, a lot of young players, freshmen especially defensively. You know, for some of them, probably the first kind of real football adversity they've faced. How have you seen kind of their mental mindset? You know, are they are you seeing them able to move on right now? Yeah, I, really I think tough? I think so. We, you know, we talked about uh, the word of resilient yesterday. You know, the ability to bounce back. And in my uh, short time of coaching, uh, you know, I've seen the players really have a better resiliency sometimes than the coaches, you know, ability to bounce back and be confident and come out there and ready to compete. Sometimes coaches, you know, sit in there and we didn't play well and we think everything that we've drawn up is not, you know, we're not very good coaches or this can't work or we think of all the reasons why something won't work. You know, so I really had – message to both coaches and players that, hey, you know, hey, I've been there. You've been there when you lose. You think, no, next week it's hard to come up with any kind of idea what's going to work. But, you know, trust your gut, trust what you feel, and let's go. Let's bounce back and let's get a plan for these players. And then to the players yesterday, you know, we got to be resilient and we got to bounce back. we got to answer the questions uh, uh, that are going to come in your meetings. And then we got to go out we got to get better. Uh, and usually players – you know, you put the ball down, a chance to compete again, they go they go compete. Mike, you had, I think it was 12 penalties for 120 yards. Uh, did that catch you off guard, and, and how big of a concern is that when you dissect what they did to you and how they occurred? Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, I mean, they hurt us offensively. Uh, you know, we were able to come, overcome, I think, one on the first drive and get a touchdown, but uh, it was hard to, I mean, we, Overcome some. We, you know, we're, I think we're first and ten at the plus thirty-three there in the in the uh, second quarter and get a hold in, and now it's first and twenty. Uh, and then later in the game, we were able to overcome one because they had a defensive hold in after that, and then there was another one we weren't. So I think we were two for four. But I mean, usually it's over. It's hard to overcome a false start. Uh, you know, some of these holdings we were just out of position and reached and grabbed, and you know, some of them. I mean, they're you know, you're holding, you get called. Sometimes, uh, uh, but there, it offense is about execution, and when you get behind the stick, sometimes it's hard. It's hard to overcome. Uh, but you know, when you're in a scoring position, and then you get knocked out of scoring position, 
kind of hurts you, you know, and you go first and 20, and now you ended up at third and 15 from a, you know, a range that's – we're out of field goal range, but you can't – there's – I mean, or fourth and 15, you ain't not going to get fourth and 15, you know, so it's kind of <laughs> – you know, you put yourself – we had a chance to get punt points, and now you, your pooch doesn't – it goes in the end zone. Uh, we would like to have a better pooch and pin them down. So those things, those are kind of hidden yardage things that, that, that hurt you. Uh, in games, and then special teams penalties uh, hurt us. Uh, tacking on the end of, you know, we did get a good punt. They tacking ten yards of field position on, or if uh, we get up, you know, they've got us pinned down twice inside the ten, and one of them was because of penalties, one of them was because of great kick. But those, those, that, that hidden yardage, uh, it, it ends up hurting you. And I know we went from the one and scored in four plays or whatever, but I mean, to go. 80 plus yards over and over. You're gonna you're gonna mess up offensively. Mike Cameron Butler, any update on his status, and are any other guys dinged up that they might miss? Yeah, this good game? question. Uh, Cameron, uh, you know, wasn't didn't feel real good about after the game. Actually, came out and ran with the team yesterday when they did their run. Uh, he did not practice yesterday. He was in the pit. Uh, we'll be able to hopefully do some limited action today. Uh, in an individual, so he would be questionable. Uh, T.J. Roundtree uh, didn't it really came up of him yesterday, uh, a little bit of a swollen knee. Uh, so right now he's doubtful for this game. Now it's only Monday, but we play on Friday too. So uh, so he, you know, you probably won't see him out there today. He'll be inside getting treatment. So he's he's doubtful uh, for this game. Those are the two off the top of my head, uh, injury wise. Uh, that for this game. Do you feel like you were limited by lack of depth at the running back position in Saturday's loss? And do you an anticipate having Marvin and Rashad in the lineup on Friday? Marvin and Rashad will be suspended this week uh, as well. Uh, and we were limited, but it is what it is. Uh, Marcus didn't play a lot in the game. I think just the way the game went, uh, kind of pass happy and protection oriented, we kept Izzy in there and probably played too many snaps. Over 70 snaps as he played. Marcus did look good on a couple of his runs, so we'll see a little bit of more of Marcus uh, this week uh, as well. So we have our two tailbacks, and Prentice will be our emergency tailback. A couple of your defensive players talked after the game. They felt like they went in overconfident, really sure about what they were doing with the game plan. How do you read that? Do you like the fact that they had some confidence early on? And is this an eye opener that maybe there's more work? In? Yeah, I mean, I, they're probably just searching for some answer to answer your question. To be honest, uh, you know, and, and try not to make an excuse, but make an excuse is what they were probably trying to do. Uh, and uh, I mean, you want to always be confident. You want to be confident in your preparation and feel confident you're going to go out there and you're going to win the game. Uh, don't want to take that away from them. But at the end of the day, we just we got. We got out executed, uh, and they made more plays than us. Uh, we had an opportunity to make some plays that can change games that we didn't, uh, and they got in a rhythm and made it look easy. But there were several, there were a handful of plays that we could have made, a sack here or there, uh, that could have, you know, gets them behind the change. You know, we were getting behind the change with penalties. You get behind the change with a sack, a little different. But I like the confidence. Uh, we can't lose our confidence. Uh, you know, confidence gets tested. You know, when you get, but you don't, you don't doubt who you are or what the work you put in. And that's what we talked about yesterday. Uh, so it'd be easy to sit in here and doubt what we're gonna, you know, who we are, what we're gonna do. But I don't doubt it. Uh, I think we got guys in here that are gonna go to work, and that's what I expect. And I expect us to be confident this week. I mean, I'm expecting to go out there and, and play well and win the game. And I'm just like I'm sure the other side of, you know. Down, down the road is too. I mean, that's why that's why you work and you prepare. Do you expect to call plays this week? Uh, we're still in work in progress with that right now. Uh, it's really going to just depend on my health uh, and, and where I'm at. Just to be to be totally honest, you know, as for the sideline, that's still yet to be determined. If we were playing today, it would be a no. Uh, it's just it is what it is right now, uh, and I gotta make sure that. Uh, doing right by the football team and then doing right by that I don't have a, a, a major, major uh, setback. But right now we're kind of just still trying we're, – we're up there, we're game planning uh, as far as, as calling plays as a, as a staff and talking through things. And then 
I mean, I got to still see if I'm going to be in the box or the sideline. Right now, it would be a no on the sideline. Mike, is the criticism of your record against CU and rivals fair? And then personally, you want to win one of these showdown games to get guys like yeah. me to shut up? No, I mean, that's part of that's the nature of the beast, uh, you know, of, of the profession that we're in. Uh, you know, we're in a – we're in a, it's like I told the team after the game, we're in a bottom line business. What's the bottom line? Win ball games, right? And, I mean, nobody, nobody held a gun to my head and said, hey, go be a coach. This is something that I wanted to do. Uh, that's part of this profession is criticism. Uh, you know, Mark Rick used to always say it's not, you know, it's not personal criticism aimed at you. It's aimed at the profession and the coach. And I think that's the way you keep it separate. Uh, uh, that's, part, that's part of it. Uh, you're daggum right we want to win ball games. You won't – I mean, we shouldn't be happy – when we lose, we ought to want. We want to beat CU. We want to beat our rivals. Uh, so, I mean, that's that. And as a human being, does it bother you? Yeah, you know, it bothers you. You know, because you want to win. You want to win. Uh, but uh, I believe in what we're doing. I believe in our staff. I wish it would. You know, I mean, I wish we've had more wins against CU. I wish we'd beaten CU, but we hadn't. But guess what? We got an opportunity Friday night. Uh, and that's what we're getting ready for this week. Talking about the last three years is not going to help me win this game or help our football team win this game. Excuse me, it's not about me, it's our football team. But uh, bottom line is we got an opportunity this week. And anytime you got an opportunity to play, uh, we're going to get ready to play. Coach, this is going to be KJ's first showdown. What do you think the impact of the other older players on the team like BC, like Izzy, that have been through it, what kind of impact do you think they can have on him? And where do you think his maturity is at? And just... Well, I mean, he's a grad transfer. I think he's mature. I think he understands big-time college atmosphere. Uh, I know he wasn't the starter at Washington, but here's a guy that's been in big-time environments. He was in, you know, he's been in the, the national championship playoff uh, you know, he didn't play, but you're there. So you're, you're, you're part of it. Uh, and there's something about being part of any time of that big time atmosphere that he understands. And I know he understands that from since the day he's been in here, how he's approached, uh, his work. Now, you know, the thing that would worry me if he was starting this game without having a start, uh, having a start, I think it gives him a little bit of confidence coming in here as a player, you know, for not playing a lot. Uh, I can go out there and, and perform and feel confident in my abilities. As far as playing in the showdown, uh, I mean, there's going, you know, it's going to be there's, there's going to be pressure because uh, you're the quarterback. But I mean, you don't need to put added pressure on yourself because of X number of people in the fans or because it's a it, it, this. At the end of the day, it's I got to go play and I got to go execute, and you know, I got to play at my best. Coach, after the game Saturday, you said Preston and some guys were playing with a little bit of attitude. Do you feel like that attitude has come through in this week? or? Well, we just started this week today. It's kind of early, to be honest, to answer that. Uh, I liked last night. I liked last night. I mean, good, it was only an hour and ten minutes, but uh, they're running routes on air, throwing it. You know, we were in shorts and helmet, but – I thought guys were running around. They weren't feeling sorry for themselves. I thought there was good energy at practice. Uh, threw and caught the ball well uh, offensively. So that's a, a good sign. Now I'm going to want a great practice today. You know, this is like a Tuesday practice for us. It's a work practice. It's competition. We're going to have some good on good stuff, which is speed versus speed. Obviously, we'll do our scout work uh, where we work, you know, our scout teams. but. Uh, you know, I think the way you get better is you go out, you go out and work. Uh, you know, you can't flip a switch on Saturday or this Friday night and say, hey, I'm ready to play. we got to put in the work uh, this week and get ready. Mike, you talked a lot about the short week. You obviously, you have four of them this season mm -hmm. with the way the schedule worked out. How does that impact you, and what types of things do you modify to make it work so that you're ready to play on a Friday instead of a Saturday this week? Well, you know, the – well, basically, yesterday's schedule changed. Where we're normally in shells and, and install a little bit more, we couldn't do that. So it was a shorter practice. Basically, get around, get out, have corrections. Basically, introduce some base stuff, uh, offense, defense, and special team. Not a big install package. Where today will be a little bit bigger uh, install package. Um, and then maybe you try to cut, you know, a little bit of time off each practice. You know, five minutes here today. Uh, maybe five to ten minutes tomorrow uh, won't cut the walk through. And then as the year goes on, I think that's going to be week to week uh, of what we do. Um, you know, I mean, might not practice on a Monday. I don't know. You know, or, or, 
uh, on a Sunday. We might just give totally off and have a run. Just you know, early in the year you got to do it because you got you got so much to correct. You got so much to where well, you're still learning how to play together. Later in the year, hope you got an identity of who you are as a football team. You don't need as many reps because you've got so many cumulative reps, so you can cut back. Just it's hard when you have a short week early in the year to cut back any kind of practice time because you're still trying to build cumulative reps. Is that where you just need to have a good feel for your team? Yeah. And, and, and like you said, as you get later in the year and start trying to figure out yeah, that Air Force gonna, week, that Boise yeah, week. Yeah, Air Force is a different animal because it's the <laughs> option. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's got to have a feel for your, for your football team. Uh, you know, it's you got to go work, uh, you know, and it's working hard and it's working smart too. Uh, so – that was kind of my message from Johnny Square, my team preacher chaplain this morning about working hard and working smarter. So that's kind of answering your question right there is, you know, we got to work hard this week, but we got to make sure that we're working smart because we are on a short week. So that's kind of on all these short weeks, we got to work. You got to work every week to get ready for practice, but we got to make sure we're working at the right things and don't just work to work. Because sometimes we do that as coaches. Hey, we're doing this because this is what we do on Monday. This is what we do on Tuesday. This is what we do on Wednesday. But we gotta, you know, we gotta make sure we're working smart uh, for who we got. Injuries determine that. Depth determines that. So, you know, experience. Uh, how many, you know, how many cumulative reps does your quarterback? I mean, all that 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 that, that determine a lot of that determines the style of the team you're playing. Yes, sir. Uh, it's actually feet. That's the problem. I got the I got the one uh, here, the one on my right foot, because uh, I had a procedure on that foot that they cut some stuff out. But uh, it's actually both feet that are that are kind of numb. That I'm moving a little bit slow. Uh, my wife says I'm moving a little bit faster, but uh, you know not fast enough to get down that sideline right now. But hopefully it'll start to come back. But feeling good. I do not know the answer to that yet. Uh, to be honest, if it was today, it would be a no. Uh, you know, we still got a little bit of time before the end of the week. Will you only call plays if you're able to be on the sidelines? Uh, it just a lot depends on this week how much how how, uh, how much I can do uh, as, as as being here. Uh, you know, probably if I'm on the sideline, I would call them, not the box. I don't. I, to be honest. I don't know yet. Anything's I don't open. know yet. Anything's open. A lot's going to depend on my health, on, uh, on, on what we do, just to be totally honest.